Hey guys, Just Jasper here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I am going to share with you three simple steps to improve your survival worlds, so let's get straight into it. The first step that I am going to share with you is kind of a two-in-one, and it might be the hardest step for a lot of you watching. Clean up and finish your builds. The first part to this step is cleaning up, and by that I mean fill in those creeper holes you have been running around. Remove those chest monsters that you have randomly scattered around your world and put your items back in your storage, and if you don't have one, it might be time for you to think about making a proper one. If you happen to be that one Minecraft player who doesn't have random chests laying everywhere, then well done. But for the other 99% of people watching, it might be a good idea to clean those up. Random chests just scattered everywhere for no reason looks unorganized and unfinished. And by cleaning these kinds of things up, it can help make your builds and worlds look so much better. The second part to this step is finish your builds. This doesn't mean that you have to finish the current massive build that you're planning to spend the next two weeks on. It just means try not to start any new projects before finishing up the ones you already have. As a builder myself, I know that it is easy to lose focus or passion for a build halfway through, especially on larger projects. So you might have a few partially built things in your world that you always say you'll come back to but you never do. Coming back to a build can help to reinvigorate you and give you new creativity and it always feels great finally completing something. This can also help to just make your worlds look a little bit more polished and can make you feel better when showing off your creations to your friends. The second step to help improve your survival world is creating custom paths and designated ways to get around. This is a super easy thing to do, and it does not cost a lot of materials or time, and it helps tie your world together and makes it generally easier to get around. Custom paths can be as simple or extreme as you like, and can range from just a path block road to a combination of things like coarse dirt, podzel, gravel, path blocks, and spruce planks. These paths can be acceptable, as long as they plot a smooth route in between your different points, so it could be a good idea to use stairs or slabs to smooth out the incline. Lighting up these paths can also be quite effective in making your world look good, which again can range from a simple fence with a lantern on top, or some kind of custom lamp post. As long as it is consistent, it can look quite nice. Having these builds in your world helps to connect your builds with one another, so rather than three or four singular builds, it feels like one big project, and also it can look pretty cool on maps. The third and last tip that I am going to tell you to improve your Minecraft world is custom trees and vegetation. It is not a secret that Minecraft trees don't look the best, they are super boxy and don't really grow in the way that any normal looking tree would, but you can fix that by creating them yourself. Having custom trees in a world makes it look so much better, and you don't even have to go overboard. Even though you have the option to create whole forests out of these custom trees, just a handful of these dotted around your main areas can be enough. They are also not difficult to make. All you need to do is create an organic looking shape for a trunk, making sure not to go straight up, but to have some bends and angles that you wouldn't find in a regular Minecraft tree. An easy way to do this is use things like stairs, fences, and even trapdoors, sometimes alongside the wood of your choice. You're also not bound to using only one type of leaf block. You can mix and match, even putting blocks like moss in there. As well as custom trees, some vegetation can be quite nice, as long as it is not overdone. If you're going for an overgrown vibe in your builds, this might be quite a good chance to put in some moss and leaves on the ground, for a little bit extra texture and can also be a good way to cover up light sources if you need to. Some bushes dotted around your base just help to add a bit more texture and depth to your terrain with minimal effort and can make your base or build areas look a lot more integrated with its surroundings. These three tips can be implemented by anyone, but are most helpful for later game players who are starting to create presentable worlds or have already done a decent amount of progress in building. I hope that you have learned something from this video and that you can hopefully do in your own worlds. And if you're still watching, consider subscribing for more Minecraft related content, tips, tricks, and tutorials. Let me know in the comments if there are more things that you want me to cover in the future, or if you found this helpful. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.